As a child, we've all looked up and wondered. We've wondered what's out there. Are we alone? And why are we here? In 1969, mankind took a giant leap toward the answers of all those questions with the small steps of one man. When Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon on July 20th, 1969, he not only successfully completed the mission of Apollo 11, but he left a lasting legacy for the future. Apollo 11 was a triumph, scientifically, politically, socially, and spiritually. Mankind would never be so influenced by one small step. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy made a bold statement. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. In the early days of the space race, America was far behind the Soviets. The USSR was the first to put a satellite in orbit, the first to put a man in space, and the first to probe the moon. Americans began to question the scientists of their country. Many were pessimistic about the outcome of the space race and its influence on the Cold War. So when Kennedy declared that by the end of the 60s, an American man would have landed on the moon, it was clear that scientific work must be done. Project Apollo began in 1961 with the goal of putting a man on the moon. It was no easy task and would require the work of 300,000 men and $40 billion. 1.5 million man-hours would be needed for Apollo 11 itself. America's educational system began to stress math and science through the National Defense Education Act of 1958 and the nation rallied around the common goal of a lunar landing. Project Apollo seemed a daunting task scientifically, and its success would prove to be one of the greatest scientific achievements of the 20th century. One of Apollo 11's most important objectives was for science, and numerous experiments would be conducted to help understand the moon and our universe. It all began on July 16, 1969, with the launch of Apollo 11. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. This was the first step to an American triumph on the way to the moon. The three-man crew of Apollo 11 consisted of... Commander Neil Armstrong, Command Module Pilot Michael Collins, and Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin. The voyage from the Earth to the Moon ran smoothly for the crew of Apollo 11, and on July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong, along with Buzz Aldrin in the Lunar Module, the Eagle, separated from Michael Collins in the Command Module, Columbia. Armstrong and Aldrin set a course for the Sea of Tranquility on the moon and prepared to land. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Almost seven hours after landing on the moon, Neil Armstrong prepared to exit the lunar module. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong exited the Eagle. Nearly one billion people watched around the world as the first man from Earth prepared to set foot upon the moon. I'm going to step off the land now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap. Next, Buzz Aldrin exited the lunar module, and the two astronauts began to conduct their science experiments. They tested solar wind composition. They set up a lunar seismic monitor. And they also helped measure the precise distance between the Earth and the Moon. These experiments helped unlock hidden facts about the universe. Apollo 11 was a scientific triumph for all the people of the world. It left a legacy of success for the U.S. space program. Apollo 11 will always be remembered for its incredible scientific feat, but without the Cold War politics of the 60s, Apollo 11 may have never happened. 
In the race to increase their world power, both the United States and the Soviet Union saw the importance of space. There was great tension between the two superpowers as they feverishly raced for space domination. The U.S. space budget was increased dramatically in order to stay competitive with the Soviets. The race reached its climax and finished on July 20, 1969, when Apollo 11 landed on the moon. On the moon, the astronauts put a plaque that read, Dear men from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, it came in peace for all mankind. The plaque didn't mention American men, just men. This was proof that Apollo 11 was a mission for the whole world, not just America. From that point forward, the space race in the Cold War would begin to thaw. The U.S. and Soviets would fly a joint space mission in 1975, and by 1991 the Soviet Union would have dissolved. Apollo 11, in many ways, was a sign of things to come. It not only won the space race for the Americans, and was pivotal in the outcome of the Cold War, but Apollo 11 was a social triumph for America. Apollo 11 had a great impact on the average American. American pride was at an all-time high when the eagle touched down on the moon. Apollo 11 became a bright spot in America's clouded future. Many were questioning the Vietnam War, and the nation was divided on the subject. But Apollo 11 brought the country together, it was a great triumph during a tragic era for America. As Rita Komen put it, the Apollo 11 landing on the moon and Neil Armstrong's walk provided a needed boost to morale. Thus, a swell of pride over the man on the moon's project's success was indeed a pleasant reprieve to savor and seemed to serve as a reminder for Americans of their basic national values. President Richard Nixon also summed up the feelings of Americans with this telephone call to the astronauts on the moon. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you see. For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. The national pride created by Apollo 11 would ignite a social triumph in America. Apollo 11 is most triumphant at its core, the spirit of it. Apollo 11 was one small step in the venture into the vast unknown. It was the adventurous spirit inside all of us, and it represented the curiosity for the mysterious, and it was beginning of the search for many answers. Buzz Aldrin described the moon as magnificent desolation. Never had so little evoked so much emotion. Today, Apollo 11's legacy is seen in everyday life. Centers like the Neil Armstrong Museum or the National Air and Space Museum allow all people to learn about and enjoy Apollo 11's legacy. Even money pays respect to Neil Armstrong and Apollo 11, like the state quarter from Ohio. Apollo 11's legacy will last as long as time because everyone can connect to its spirit. Apollo 11 truly was one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. It came in peace for all mankind.